Hi, I'm Charlie Pape from Tight Lines Fly Fishing Company and today I'm going to be tying a modified midnight mullet. Uh, this is a really good baitfish pattern for smallmouth. Uh, baitfish are a great part of our arsenal and a lot of the ones that we use are just really hard to tie. Not hard, but take a long time. This one is quick, easy, and very effective. I'm going to be tying this fly today on a TMC 811S size 2. Some of these neutrally buoyant baitfish patterns work really well if you tie it on a little heavier hook, so I'm using that stainless hook. The tail portion is going to be white bucktail with a little bit of flash over it. I'm going to use pearl and silver flashaboo. And then the lateral lines of this minnow are going to be just a couple grizzly hackles. I'm going to tie the head with Spirit River Palmer chenille. A lot of different things work for the head on this fly, but this is great. Or you can use large cactus hackle, extra large cactus hackle. I'm going to color the top of that head with a gray Prisma pen. I'll be using 3D molded eyes 5.0 in yellow. And another nice little feature of this bait fish is the thread. Use a hot orange flat wax nylon. Gives it kind of a little nice nose. Now, tying this bug, you can start your thread fairly far forward here. The tail and the flash and the lateral lines, everything is tied pretty far forward on this bug. So I'm going to start maybe one eye width ahead of the hook point. And that's where I'm going to tie in my bucktail. I'm going to take a fairly good sized clump of bucktail here. If you want to stack it, you can. I'm just going to leave it as is. Next I'm going to put some flash. I'm going to do pearl first, then some silver over the top of that. Then I'm going to add the lateral lines, just a piece of grizzly hackle, one on each side. You want those to extend just a little bit beyond the bucktail. Next we're going to start the head portion of the fly and we're going to be doing that with Spirit River Palmer chenille and you really want to layer this stuff on there. Lots of wraps. So we'll secure that on there. Bring the thread forward and it's important with this material just keep pulling those fibers back with each turn. And it won't look like much until you get a lot of it on there. Another nice thing about using the orange thread is a little bit of that will show through the head. Looks kind of like gills. And once I get closer to the eye I'm going to make a handful of extra wraps just thicken out the top portion of the head. And then 
build up a nice little orange nose. Great. And then I'll trim the flash, just make it go a little bit beyond the lateral lines. And this is the same color Prisma Marker Cool Gray that we use on the head of the Murdich Minnow, the head of the Bardo Minnow. Seems like on our rivers up here, more natural bait fish tend to work really well compared to chartreuse and white. Next I'm going to glue on the eyes. Ideally you want to use Zap Gel for this. And the nice thing about these nice big 3D eyes on a minnow that's this size is it really gives a little bit of body and shape to the head. Gives it a nice kind of flat profile. You'll get a little extra kick out of the bug. And there's the finished minnow, quick, easy, very effective.